Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Chef Fran. But first, give me a virtual hug by hitting the subscribe button. And in return, I will give you a new recipe every week. In making our taquitos, we have our Parmesan, we have our pepper jack cheese, and we have our Kobe and Monterey mix here. All shredded from the block to make our taquitos. But these are the keto taquitos. So there's no flour. So if you're in a low carbohydrate diet, this is for you. Had some leftover short ribs that I just put some barbecue sauce with. And so that's what I have here. And I had some leftover salmon. I just cut up, put some cream cheese in here, some green onions and some celery and some Himalayan salt and black pepper. Um, and that was it to kind of make our spread. So I am just waiting for our cheese to be able to melt so I can like lift it up and be able to show you how to make the taquitos this way. Here's our vitamin content. So the key to when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the edges are turning light golden brown on the bottom. And you can kind of see it as it begins to bubble, you let it continue bubbling. Don't touch it, don't mess with it. Inside is still gonna be the top part is those it's gonna be like you have melted cheese still kind of going on, but the bottom is what's cooking up. When that happens, you want to make sure that you have your spatula underneath it with a good grip. Because then you have to move quickly. Then you're gonna put it like on your cutting board or you need it on a flat surface. Put your filling, whatever your filling may be. And then it's hot though, you gotta move quick and you gotta be able to take the heat. That's the only disadvantage to this and be able to start rolling quickly so it could look like taquitos, form into taquitos because it will start to harden. But not hard that you can't bite into it, but just it'll start to take on its shape of just being firmer. And then you won't be able to do anything at that point. So now if you could look, it's bubbling. So I'm allowing it to bubble because I'm allowing the edges on the bottom to cook up. Now the key is before you do each dose of cheese and all I do is put like, maybe it's considered like half a cup of cheese in here. And you definitely want to have the Parmesan because the Parmesan is what kind of helps it to crisp up. So if you're mixing with other cheese, the key is to have Parmesan and you do want to mix it with other cheese because Parmesan is a little salty off by itself. So you want to have other cheese incorporated with it. Now, okay, mine's is already kind of starting to turn. So you guys are going to kind of see the process a little bit. Like this side is kind of turning. I'm going to just lower my heat just a little bit. But the other part is not ready for it to go because this is still kind of soft. The other edges are not crisp yet, only one side. So with that said, I may be able to turn it on soon and pick it up. So my goal is to pick it up from the side that is crispier. And sure enough, that's happening right now. So I'm trying to get a good edge, good bottom, like I said. So here we go. And now I'm going to put my filling. Here's the, the cheese that's left. And it's always good to like, so I'm gonna put the salmon right here on the edge of the filling that I have, pretty full. And I have to work quickly now. So here I am, I'm gonna take it and I'm moving it close in tightly, even though it's kind of burning my fingers a little bit, but I got it done and now it's done. And now I put it on a piece of paper towel to kind of let the grease go away. Now, you know if you're on a ketogenic diet, cheese is a big sauce. So eat. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay, so Ian, uh, let me see. Ian, yours is not quite ready. Hold on. Let's see something. Wait, wait a minute. It looks pretty good on the bottom there. Just a little. Okay, here we go. Okay, we go. so here we go. So here is our short ribs that I'm going to put right here on the edge. 
and I'm gonna try to wrap it quickly because this one wasn't fully cooked all the way. <sighs> so it's not. I wasn't fully not done. I should have. No. <sighs> That's why you don't listen to Ian. I'm learning. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Okay. I mean, I was able to roll it, yeah. but we, got a little extra cheese. we lost unnecessary cheese. Put it right here, maybe. Yeah, you, you know. Stick it in here. And, and this is what we do. Take this here, and you roll it, and you roll it, and you continue rolling it, and you continue rolling it. Now I put it on a wet, wet pa uh, a paper towel so it could drain the oil from the cheese. And so I'm rolling my taquitos for my salmon. And there it is. And I put it on the paper towel again. And here are a list of ingredients. Look at our taquito, taquitos, me. I'm so excited. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Let's go. Wow. Pleasantly surprised? Yeah, you blew me away with this one. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yes. And don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. So thanks again. We love you guys. And we'll see you in our next, next video. video. Yes. Bye. Thank you.